Solve the given differential equation by separation of variables. x squared dy over dx is equal to y minus x times y. And after we find our equation, we're going to use this initial value to solve for our c value. So first, we're going to simplify the right side. And we're going to write x squared dy over dx is equal to, so we're going to factor out our y, y multiplied by 1 minus x. So next, we're going to move all our y's to the left side and our x's to the right side. So this is going to equal dy over y, which is equal to 1 minus x over x squared dx. Now we're going to take the integral of both sides. So next we're going to simplify the right side. So we're going to do 1 over x squared. minus the integral of x over x squared dx and dx. So now we're going to simplify this further. And we're going to simplify the right side because the left side is going to stay the same. So we're going to bring this exponent to the top and it's going to be x negative 2 dx minus the integral of 1 over x dx. So now that we have simple integrals, we're going to start to solve them. So the left side is just going to the integral of 1 over y times dy is just ln absolute value y. And for the right side, we're going, since we have an exponent of negative two, we're gonna add one, and our new exponent is gonna be equal to negative one. So now we're gonna have x negative one, one divided by our new exponent. minus 1 over x dx. The integral of that is just going to be ln of absolute value x plus c. So now I'm just going to rewrite this again in simplest form. So we're going to have negative 1 over x minus ln of x plus c. And so now we're going to take the exponential function of both sides. And the e and the ln are going to cancel out, leaving us with just y. And we're going to rewrite this side. So because this is a subtraction, you, we can reuse the exponential rules and instead we can divide this. So e to the ln, e to the power of ln x is just going to be x, so we put the x at the bottom, and e to the power of c, using the ln rule, uh, exponential rules, we can just multiply it. So it's going to be e to the c. So next, we are going to substitute these values and find our c value. So y is just negative 1. e is going to be negative 1 over a negative 1. 
again using the exponential rules we can add both exponents so it's just gonna be plus c divided by negative one so this is going to simplify so this is going to simplify to one which is going to equal e e to one plus to the power of one plus c so now we're going to take the ln of both sides the ln of one is going to equal zero and that's going to equal ln times e is going to cancel out and we're going to be left with one plus c which is going to equal c is equal negative one so we can rewrite this and y is going to equal e to the power of negative one over x minus one all over x and this is going to be our final answer thank you for watching please be sure to like share and subscribe